Particle physics aims at understanding how the universe works. Many questions about our universe are still unanswered, and for many years we have been looking for clues which would allow us to address them. Now we might have found one. Congratulations. John. Yeah, you too. Yeah, congratulations. But it's uh, great. I mean, I... well, indeed, some intriguing results have come from the LCB experiment at CERN. We call them anomalies, something that was not expected according to what we know so far. We were looking at particles called B mesons, containing elementary particles called B quarks. These B quarks are not stable particles. They decay, transforming themselves into other particles. In this case, into S quarks and a pair of particles called leptons. These lepton pairs can be of different kinds. We are interested in one kind formed by one electron and one anti-electron, and in another kind formed by a muon and an anti-muon. We were expecting the electron and muon pairs to show up with the same frequency. Instead, according to our latest measurement, the muon pair appears to be rarer than the electron pair. There is only one possibility in 1,000 that this anomalous result is due to a statistical fluctuation. You might remember what Nico said three years ago. We still have too few measurements to understand if these anomalies are true or not. But if they were confirmed, they would actually be the biggest discovery in particle physics in the last decades. The news now is that we are getting there. I think this result is the first piece of a big puzzle that has found its correct place. If this is confirmed, this puzzle could represent the first glimpse of a new vision of our universe. Indeed, to explain these anomalies, we need to assume the existence of something completely unknown so far. Something like a new fundamental force to be added to the four forces that we know so far. Gravity, electromagnetism, the weak and the strong force. We still need more measurements because the gold standard in particle physics to declare a discovery is to have less than one chance in 3.5 million that the result is a statistical fluctuation. But yes, we are getting there. The point is that now we are more optimistic, definitely more optimistic than we were two years ago. You remember what we said. So Nico, what do you think? In one word, inconclusive. And this is why many people, including myself, are disappointed. And I believe that a large part of the community starts to become pessimistic about the fact that this could be a real breakthrough in particle physics. Okay, but you have always been more positive. Yes, it's inconclusive, but I think there is no reason to be more pessimistic than before, because, you see, we have to remember that we know very well what is the standard model value, which is one, but we don't know which can be the value beyond the standard model. Any value of R here, clearly different from one, can be explained only by a new force, and this will be a major discovery. This is still highly probable. And actually, a value like this one here, if the, the, the result will have a smaller error, it fits even better with our theoretical model. So I think the, the situation is still extremely interesting. I mean, if the data will converge to this value here, this will be a major discovery. You see, this is where we were two years ago. And this much smaller error is where we are now. Yes, this looks great. And in the end, this is how particle physics works. One day you might be disappointed, another day you are very excited and happy about the result as we are now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I should get, get together so now we can. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye. bye everyone. Yes. Oh.